Hey guys, this is Golden Knight 27 doing a short video for you guys, just a value cube opening. Um, I did kind of find out what deck was going to be in there, and so I picked up this specific one. So, what you get is a few promo cards, you get two booster packs, and then you get a structure deck or a starter deck as well. This particular one is the Spellcaster's Command, which is one of my favorite decks. If you're building a Spellcaster deck, it's awesome to get. Um, lots of good spell cards in there, decent trap cards, and uh, Endymion is probably my favorite level 7 spellcaster outside of Dark Magician. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to do that off screen just because it could take me a little while, they're tricky. So uh, give me one second and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I went ahead and opened it. Um, I did kind of try to see the pack before I bought it, and uh, we'll see if the pack that's behind World Superstars is what I think it is. Let's see the over there. Put that face down. Alright, so I'll actually start with the structure deck. Like I said, it's, if you've got a spellcaster card and you want to build a spellcaster deck, you'll get some decent stuff in there. Um, this deck does revolve around using spell counters in order to um, do certain effects. So we've got the big monster of the deck being Endymion the Master Magician. I apologize if it's a little bit blurry, but I think sometimes the foil cards give the camera a hard time. So you've got Endymion, Disenchanter. Defender the Magical Knight, Anvil Necromancer, Summoner Monk, which is always a great card. Um, this alone is kind of worth it just because you can use Summoner Monk in pretty much any deck today. Uh, Dark Red Enchanter, Skill Dark Magician, Princess Magician, two of those, and an old Vindictive Magician. Nice tricky little card. Flip Monster, Target 1, Monster Pun Controls, and destroy that target. Magical Marionette, Breaker of the Magic Warrior, another good level 4 spellcaster. Basically has Mystical Space Typhoon built into the card. Magical Plant, Mandragola, Royal Magical Library, Blast Magician, Mythical Beast Cerebrus, Maycow Master Barriers, Crystal Seer, Magical Exemplar, We've got spell cards. This is the field card. Um, it's a really good card. Um, if this video gets, I guess, 10 likes, then I'll do a deck profile of my Endymion deck just to kind of let you guys know how some of these cards work. And spell power grasp, magicians unite, mist body, malevolent nuzzler, giant tree which is banned, uh, fissure, swords of revealing light, mage power. Terraforming to search out the field card, enemy controller, book of moon, magical blast, magical dimension, one of my most favorite cards for spellcaster deck period, twister, field barrier, this protects the field card from being destroyed at all, it's a permanent spell card, so good to have, magician circle, pitch black power stone, and two, and then Tower of Babel, and a Magic Cylinder, which uh, as you guys can tell from many of my deck profiles, I still love using that card. It's an old card, but yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And so, I guess we'll move on to the promo cards. Now, so this is from the Premium Collection 10, it is Mask Hero Acid. And then we've got Gravity Warrior. Synchro Secret Rare, um, also from the Premium Collector 10. And Machina Cannon. I have this card already and then I have Master Acid, but Gravity Warrior, I needed to complete the collection. It's a small set. As soon as I get all of those cards assembled, then I will definitely, you know, post a video showing you guys the entire collection. But you know, they're not super valuable except for Master Acid is worth a decent amount of money. But they're still cool. It's a small set, it's like 24 cards. So We'll do a video of that as soon as I get it. So we've got World Superstars. I did a pack opening of a few of these not long ago. Let's see what we get. 
hopefully we'll get a Gaga Gaga sticker or um, another one of the good secrets like Elemental Hero Blaze Man or possibly Utopic Future like we got in the last opening. Uh, typically the secret is at the front so I'm going to put that face down and see what supers we get first. So we've got a Gaga Gaga Samurai, decent card, Heraldic Beast, Amphisbian, uh, I guess. Uh, Batman Shadow Boxer and Mecha Phantom Beast Jack Lusian. And the secret rare card is Star Seraph Scepter. Decent card if you're gonna build a fairy deck. Nice parallel secret rare there, so nice and pretty as most of these Star Seraph cards are. Alright, so I guess we will see what this mystery pack is um, that we couldn't see from the outside. Also, it's a legendary collection Yugi's World. It's not bad. It's not what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be the Dragons of Legend. Uh, the original pack I saw it was green. Um, I was hoping that's what it was, but this is very acceptable. Probably better, honestly. So with these... Um, before I go through them all the way, you're guaranteed a secret rare, you're guaranteed an ultra, you're guaranteed a super, and also a rare. So that's kind of cool that we got one of these. So we've got Gamma the Magnet Warrior, Black Luster Ritual, a rare Tomb Summon Skull, and we got a Bottomless Trap Pull as an ultra rare. So that looks nice. Harpy's Feather Duster as our secret rare. So that's kind of cool, old school card. And our super rare is Salvage. And then we got Twin Sword the Flashing Light Trice. Magical Dimension, two of these. That's awesome. Uh, two of these in one video opening, so I will take it. And the Silent Swordsman level three. So I'll go ahead and arrange these. In value. Alright guys, so let me know how you guys think I did. Um, let me know if the $10 was worth it. That's all these costs. I think I've made my money back. Getting the deck alone, the structure deck with Endymion in it, is about $11 to $12 online. Um, as are most structure and starter decks in the store, about $10. So it's like getting a deck and then getting the extra cards at no cost. So, decent openings, got some of the premium collector 10 cards, which are amazing if you guys have not looked into those. Um, also, just wanted to give a shout out to some of the places I will be, so I'm regularly on Google+, Plus. that is one of the places where you can communicate with me frequently. Um, I am very interactive. If you look at the comments, I typically respond to every comment on the video. Um, community that I'm in most of the time is Yu-Gi-Oh! Realm. I am a moderator there, so I have to be on there very often, so you will see me there very often, and I would like to communicate with you guys, so I will see you guys there. There's also the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Amino app. I'm on there pretty regularly. I like to announce when I'm doing videos or openings there first, um, just so you can kind of you know, know when my videos are out if you don't have a YouTube account and you don't subscribe, which don't have one by now I don't know how that is but certainly be sure to subscribe and I will continue to do more openings and also if we can get this to 10 likes I will do deck profile for my Endymion the Master Magician deck and as always thank you guys and I look forward to creating more content for you guys and hope you guys enjoyed thank you